will come back for part two. So let's not wait for anything and let's go. Object mode, save and let's add another shift a cube and control three again. Let's add to the five and apply. Now let's go into the sculpting mode don't turn on the symmetry for a bit let's use the move tool and move it at the left side cheek as the scale move it into the position and drag it inside the body now let's use a grabbing tool and drag it in the position of the mesh. Let's rotate it to press it to the body. Let's move. Check the side view again. Don't forget that this part should be higher and that part so let's drag this one out and now we can turn on the symmetry and do the symmetrize option let's form our butt a bit more and i think it's okay let's go back into object mode save the file duplicate this object and go back into the sculpting mode now with the track tool i'm going to drag here scale it and rotate it around this way we can sometimes you can see the rotation does a weird thing let's rotate it again grab tool and Let's move into the, oh, be careful. So they don't come in contact together. Let's maybe move them a bit to the side. If you have this error where they are connected, don't worry. Everything is fixable. What you got to do is go back where you duplicated it here turn off the symmetry over to the side and see if they are connected if they are connected then just go back a few times where they are in the same position drag them down here and let's mask it we can use the b or the box mask maybe it's not masking because it doesn't have any vertices there we can fix this easier into the edit mode but i want to show you the sculpting mode fix so mask it here let's mask a bit more in here and mask and slice fill holes if it doesn't work that means we have to mask a bit more so let's mask a bit more and mask slice fill holes now let's a clear the mask and control i mean shift r for resolution maybe add a bit more 0 0.04 and control r to apply it and grab tool and smooth it Now with the S, I'm going to scale it down. And with the move tool, I'm going to move it into the kneecap place. Now with the grabbing tool, G, I'm going to position it and shape it as an E. If you're not sure how it should be, you can press this button and see the behind your knee shape. Let's follow that knee shape. 
doesn't have to be perfect again. And don't forget to spawn. Let's press this button back. Let's see what we got. If it's not fitting, let's just add clay strips on top. Maybe we made a leg too big, so we can go and press the leg one and drag it just a bit, not too much back. Select the bottom one. I will use the clay strips to strip some of the mesh away from this side and from this side. Leave just the middle and smooth everything. Now we can duplicate this one, shift D, sculpting mode and move tool, side view and drag it down. Let's rotate it. Now use G tool to drag it out. Don't be afraid to mess up the shape a bit. It's okay. Don't forget to smooth. And in the front view, we can see that we have a spaghetti. That's fine. Let's just shape it. We can use a bit of the scale tool and scale it just on X. And let's go back into the grab tool and move it far fit in the position. Let's not forget the big toe and small toes. And let's position it. Maybe by scaling the rotation happens. So let's just use the rotate tool to rotate it back and shape our foot. Don't worry too much of the form, it's okay. And we have our feet. Now, we can use the same shape from the knees. Or no, let's use the same shift from the calves. Shift duplicate it, sculpting mode. And let's move it. Rotate it. As to scale it a bit down. So we can fit it into the bottom arm. And grab tool to shape it. Let's go into the side view to check. Now we can set up our view. Let's create, create a new collection. Let's go back into the object mode and you can see your arm is in this object. Let's select everything, just not the arm and move it into the second one. Don't forget to leave your images and arm in the same one. Let's select our arm, sculpting mode, and now we can hide everything else and we can see our arm. Let's grab and move it into the position. Smooth if it's hard for you to get a good shape. Smooth, smooth. Let's move into the front view. A bit of scaling up the sides. 
and we can go back into object mode Control s to save the file shift d to duplicate the object and let's move now it into the bicep we'll need to rotate it a bit so let's do that now and move it don't forget uh, don't be afraid how it looks now just grab tool and move it let's move and we can have our upper arm we can use a clay strip to draw this one down you can draw a bit of sculpting mode a bit of dent in here on your lower part of arm and let's go into the object we can choose this one duplicate it again sculpting mode and move tool move rotate it let's reset the rotation point so we don't accidentally merge the objects let's scale it down And you can see that we can make this our clavicle bone. What I'm going to do is press G tool and smooth pretty heavily. So the shape becomes more slim and more the same thickness. We can unhide our body. And let's set up our clavicle in a position. That's it for part two and see you next part. You never